Hey everyone, it's Todd. And I'm Jeff. We're two lifelong friends who decided we want to make a movie together. And I wanted to let everyone know we're actually starting a podcast as well that's going to tell all about the struggles and the triumphs and the lessons that we've learned along the way during the movie making process. From writing the script to finding the cast to shooting the scenes and to editing the final product, you, the listener, will have behind the scenes access. Plus, along the way, we'll be interviewing industry professionals to get their take on the whole process as well. So if you've ever wanted to make a movie on your own, this new podcast is for you. Make sure to head out to your favorite podcasting delivery service and look for Jeff and Todd Make a Movie and hit the follow button. On today's Men of the Apes, you know, we're, we're trying to tease it and it goes around the, the horn. Richard looks at his phone and goes, no, I don't know, no, and then kind of giggles on the end of it. Sean's yawning. yawning. So I'm ready for some You know Mexican what? Food. Here comes the theme. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Minute of the Apes, the daily podcast where we break down every minute of the Planet of the Ape movies one minute at a time. I am Todd. I am jubilant today. This is it. Here we are. So it's at the fucking end. I know. <laughs> As I, I actively yawn during the, <laughs> during the I, 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 I look hear, over and Richard's leaning away so you don't hear the yawn in it. I'm making folders for future movies. I'm already wrapped. I'm did already... we set ourselves up to hate this movie? Because we did. I no, didn't. No. We didn't set ourselves didn't. up. The movie set us I up. I did not. Okay. Fairly, you went in and we, this movie has changed your opinion of the uh, film. Would yes, you agree with yes, that? Yes, it, it has. But I'm I, also breaking it down. And that's something I don't know that I would, would have, even if they'd been on TV, I probably wouldn't have put this much thought into it again. I'd just like watch it. Go, oh, okay. I would hope that when you watch it on TV, you would still kind of go, what? <laughs> I love that my description of the movie is, oh, okay. Sean and I both, I think, were already prepared for like, this is not yeah. going to be fun. Especially knowing what's coming after this. It's like eating really, it's, it's the meal that you don't want to eat so that you can have the dessert afterwards that you really want. Exactly. I don't want to know a thing. Oh, we're, okay, we're not. We're, we're talking, we can dance, we can talk around thing. it. We're going to get into some things, but we won't, other than telling you what the log line is, so you know what the film is, a few actors that are in it, etc. okay? Is, now, sometimes we like to watch the trailer. Oh, that's oh, true. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. But I, my question is, is it going to tell me more than I want to know? Because but I am king of turn, having my husband turn off a trailer because that's too much. I don't want to see anything else. I yeah. Well, we're no. I don't want to see. Actually, no, don't no, want to I'm see the pulling trailer. up for myself. Okay, you, you guys can. So watch. I'm okay, gonna, but watch to be it. fair, hang on, hang trailer. on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. The rules have been, and we established this within our little three-way friendship here, is he'd never seen them and he watched the trailers before. Yeah. And so that's almost part of what it has to be. Ah. Uh, See, there are movies I just don't see the trailers for. And I and I will have, I will have my husband turn them off. I'm like, I don't want to watch the rest of that. Okay, then I'll tell you what. We will play the trailer, and if you feel like you need to walk away from it, you may walk I away. I may walk away. But you have to at least start it. So no, we'll, we'll, in we'll a little do, bit. We'll okay. do it on your computer so that the audio will be going through. Richard, come over okay. there. And all that, yeah. Okay, and we just need to make sure we share the exact same link. So I pulled Well, I was just going to say, literally have him walk over to you. I understand. I thought oh, you so were going to watch it. I thought you were going to watch it. Okay, well, I was just going to walk over Okay, we'll watch it over here. Boy, that's a lot of behind the scenes. All right, we got minute 120. Sean, tell us where we start, where we end. We start minute 120 with. With the London unit and ends with produced and released by 20th Century Fox. All right, let's roll it. Oh, well, now we're a little bit more sad. sad. We've lost our We've techno lost beat. Our funk Hang on. <laughs> so, what is Rule the Planet remix? I, what is it re remixing of? I no Paul Oaken falls up. I, we could read the books at Harper Entertainment and New Market Press. Oh, the novelization? Maybe they fill in some blanks that we don't know. They about. shot this in Arizona. Also at Los Angeles Center Studios. And Hawaii. There's a Hawaii film office. The day the Earth is still was shown in that somewhere? It must have been in the beginning. It must have been. Like maybe when Davidson... Oh, those was... little clips. The little, the little uh, oh, time Oh, in the background. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, right. Okay. 
Yeah. I guess they did tease us that the time was wonky because they were showing us but Hitler is, and things like no, that. No, it is so bad. No, that is that, that is you've if got to define it. Yeah, if you if you have to reach that hard to find that, yeah. Produced and released by 20th Century Fox. Hey, by the way, apparently up next on my Amazon thing was Vertigo, in case you wanted to watch that. No that more, there is no more 20th Century Fox. That is 20th true. 20th Century. That is true. No, so, there's 20th Fox, isn't it? Or just 20th? I can't remember. There we stand. That is the end of Tim Burton. Does anybody have any closing comments before we move on to what comes next? Um, this has been... <laughs> I mean, this, no. I, 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 I'm I good. think we can all admit, you know, much... We've been dreading it. And I'm glad it's over. Right. Um, I'm trying to bring up Plan of the, the Rise of the Planet of the Apes so I can read the log line to Richard. Um, so, it was the first movie called Rise? Yes. Yeah. Okay. It's Rise, Dawn, War. So, what comes next is 2011's Rise of the Planet of the Apes. And there, there are a lot of, of, the, of the movies. So, you got Rise of the Planet of the Apes, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, War for the Planet of the Apes. You know what? I'm going to well, use... I mean, Apparently, Mars is conquest, battle, escape. Man, so. by the way, IMDb mm -hmm. needs to look at the weight of their pages. They have built things now where when it loads, it is so heavy, it just stutters. Uh -huh. I'm just telling you, IMDb, if you're listening, <laughs> get your shit together. Seriously, go Listen look to at Todd. that shit. Uh, Rise of the Planet of the Eight, directed by Rupert Wyatt. This is the simple log line. Are you ready, Richard? Mm hmm. A substance designed to help the brain repair itself gives advanced intelligence to a chimpanzee who leads an ape uprising. Cool. Okay. That is the name. And there it is. That is science fiction for you to a T, is it not? Mm -hmm. Let's slightly change a little bit of technology. Let's give it, and it, it gives us an impact that's somehow bigger than that. Rupert Wyatt, let's talk about our director, if IMDb will load without just completely bogging down. Let's see. Pardon me. There it goes. Finally. Um, as a director. Mosquito Coast, a TV series. So prior to this, he had made a short film called Ticks, a film called Subterranean, a short called Get the Picture, a feature named The Escapist, which who's in The Escapist? I know that film. God, IMDb, you load so terribly now. Brian Cox, Damian Lewis, Joseph Fine. Lean Cunningham. I don't think I ever saw it, but I knew what that. I'd, I'd heard that film. Well, he likes working with Brian Cox because he's in the first movie in the the rise. That is true. Yeah. Um, he then makes this. He goes on to work on Turn, the Washington Spy series that was on AMC. I enjoy that. The Gambler, which isn't that Marky Mark? Uh, I, that I could not tell you. So he eventually works with Marky Mark. He makes The Exorcist, Captive State, and The Mosquito Coast. He, I'll throw it out up front that he was does not make the next two because... No, the Gambler is Marky Mark, yeah. So apparently he did not like that 20th Century Fox wanted a more pinpointed, what do we do with this story? And they wanted him to go into production faster than he wanted, so he stepped away from the series and it then goes to Matt Reeves. Ah, ah okay. Well, that, I, That's I, at I was, least the story he gives. It'd be very interesting to see what his... If he would have continued, if he would have made a trilogy, what his thoughts were for future movies. And then you have to remember, directors are not always writers. Just because you directed an awesome film doesn't mean you wrote that awesome film. You're, you're building off the backs of other people. Right. Yeah. So I've got the trailer over here. Um, okay. Richard, if you, I'm going to real I'll walk quick, over there. Yeah, I'm going to mute everything so I can bring it up and not have it bleed in yet. Let's just make sure I get audio through this. I'm sorry, we're testing this shit on the fly. Um, yeah, we do. There that would done. be audio. So come on over here. Now, tell, uh, oh, you're going to need to bring your headphones because that's how you'll hear it. Okay, you walk over there. Okay. We are the height of technical proficiency here. Now, Richard has said he walks away from trailers, so yes. he might walk away from So that. if this becomes too much, then simply step away. Okay. Okay, but we're going to play this. This is the official trailer number two. That's the only one that I could find immediately on YouTube. Oh, it's two minutes. All right, here we come. We're talking about huge potential for millions of people. Our therapy enables the brain to repair itself. We call it the cure. I want you to start testing on chimps ASAP. We test one subject. I want to make sure it's stable. I 
designed the 112 for repair. But Caesar's gone way beyond that. You mean increased intelligence? The skills that far exceed that of a human counterpart. This is wrong, Will. It works. And what about Caesar? Where does he fit in? That ship's company property. He hasn't spent any time with other chimps. They're not people, you know. Are you trying to control things that are not meant to be controlled? Richard's walking away as Caesar begins looking at different things that he's going to do. They are contaminated. Put those apes down. You have no idea what you're dealing with. So in that trailer, <coughs> excuse me, we see a lot of actors thrown in here. Um, Got James you just, Franco. You, you, just you honestly didn't even know who's in it. I didn't realize James Franco was in it. James Franco, yeah, James Jennifer Franco, Brian Cox, uh, what Tom, John Lithgow, Tom Hiddleston, not Hiddleston, uh, Tom Felton is that his name? Yeah, Felton, From, I think. Uh, Frida, Frida Pinto. Yeah, Tom Felton. Uh, Brian Cox, yeah, Felton. There's a lot of really good people associated with this. And um, it's written by Rick Jaffa, Amanda Silver, and then it, it, as always, Pierre Bull is credited. Yeah. This film, without getting too far into it, obviously tries to go back and explain the how origin. Planet of the Apes can, yeah, could th begin. This is literally okay. an origin. Film. That's that's basically where we're starting. Is they, they look at where Burton tries to find out how do we retell the same story again. They said, how do we actually tell the story of where this goes? And is is it a perfect fit for the original films? No, I'm no. gonna I will admit that up front. It's and I not think, a one for one, yeah. And I think they intended that. I think they're kinda like, okay, we're gonna kinda show you how this kind of started. But I think that the series of three films is pretty rock solid. Sure, there are gonna be places where you look and go, this doesn't work, that don't work anyway. But it dramatically is going to be Totally different than where we've come from with this last film. Okay, so knowing that, Richard, seeing what you saw the trailer, what do you think the story is? And how do you think it ends? I don't know. <laughs> okay, you, you got to be... Sean at least gave us his neophyte. What are you expecting out of this after you've seen what little you saw? A uh, relatively straightforward man creates invention to save apes or save humans... Uh, eight becomes highly evolved, gets out, um, becomes disillusioned, kind of a uh, disillusioned with life or himself or the placement of roles of apes and decides to take it and do his own, maybe helping other okay. apes evolve. I, I, w I would see that movie. I will say something. We listed the whole cast while we were, the whole cast, most of the cast. One person we didn't Andy say, Circus. Andy Circus. Andy Circus is after, humongous after to these After you watch series. this movie, yeah. after you watch the first movie, we, like, for the last in-between or something like that, we're going to sit down with some bonus features and show you his performance versus the final stuff, and you will go... God damn, that's him acting up there. Anybody that, you know, when the Academy comes out and says, well, digital performance art is not really acting. Yeah, it fucking is. You will see You this. already can see it with the Gollum stuff that they created, but the technology evolved so much that Sean's right. There's one or two moments where it's like, oh, fuck. They made Andy Serkis into an ape. Mm -hmm. And he is so good in all these films. He really is. He's a great at he that dude. It's funny. What's funny to me is I think about the, the people that bitch about green screen acting and this kind of thing. This isn't really acting. Isn't it kind of going back to what acting is all about, which is that show me what ice cream tastes like, you know, and the, your, your face hat, you learn to emote like that. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I, I think this is the core of acting. The, uh, 
so Lord of the Rings stuff that a lot of that had to be hand animated. Mm -hmm. And so while they were using his performance Mm -hmm. as a base, they were doing their own touches on it. This is his performance because this is where, you know, dot stuff captured on the face. And when you see a scene of him acting and like, like pressing his face against glass and stuff like that. And then you see Caesar's version of it. You're like, that's him. I, I did not know the monkey's name was Caesar, so I'm happy to have his name be Caesar. Yeah. There, and there that's established of, early, so that's not a spoiler. Well, well, no, but they see, I was I was happy his name was Caesar. Yes. Look, they, they do try to take in some of the original film and work it, films and work it into this, mm-hmm. but and I think by and large they succeed they do, when, yeah, when yeah. they do that. It comes off, they earn it. It isn't just like, oh, here this, it is. This feels like if you were to remake the original Planet of the Apes with modern technology, not Tim Burton, but like just remake it, it feels like these three would be the beginning to that. Yeah, it does. Oh. So with what we intend, I know that as Sean put today, a lot of this d- depends on me grabbing it and splitting up the clips for us to start watching. Do we intend to take it, a few weeks off here? And it won't then be too long until... Start recording We'll, we'll start recording soon. It'll be three or four months at least yeah. until they start coming out. Yeah. yeah. But is that our intention is just to get right back to this after a few weeks off? Yeah. As soon Stop as you yawning, start, bitch. Sorry. You, yeah, it's all on you, Todd. As soon as you start cutting up, sorry, everybody. Start making notes and recording. <laughs> I will. Yeah. I'm, I, yeah. So, so here uh, to get it for you guys, I've got to edit all these clips. Mm-hmm. Um, then I go to pick Abby up from Colorado and bring her back. So maybe about three weeks, four weeks from now, I can start splitting things up. So maybe in about six weeks, we can start recording again. All right. Yeah. Kind of planning for that. But then I'm also on vacation. But, We'll, we'll figure it out somewhere in this summer. We'll start we'll, again. You know, as long as we start, we get some stuff rolling this summer. Yeah. We'll have some time this summer to do it. So sure. as Sean put out, maybe three, four months from now, maybe yeah. five months, we'll have some new episodes out there. But that's it. We've done it again, boys. We can talk we about finished. The Flash then because we'll have seen it. Oh, that's yeah. true. That is true. Stuff to talk about. So Marvels, all that kind of stuff. That is the sixth film in the books. We are done. <sighs> Two thirds of the way of the currently existing movies done. Well, we will definitely have a new film out before we finish yes. the last three, but... We're assuming. We we're assuming. We, we've seen Warner Brothers before. It happened one time. Oh, but they also canceled Babylon 5, too, so... Well, no, no, they haven't. It's uh, The whole writer strike has affected things. That's why it's slowing stuff down. <laughs> I know the shit. <laughs> you see how defensive you get. I know, I know, I know. You also, almost got it there. I know. I, also something, that was my nut shot for him. Like, <laughs> also, something's coming out this Wednesday about Babylon 5. That it's canceled. Nah. I don't know, but he's been doing stuff with Bruce Boxleitner and other people. He I, killed them all. I think it's a documentary, but I don't oh, know. Okay. All right. Wow. Okay. Well, that is it, boys. Congratulations. We Six did it. movies in the book and the one that, that at least Sean and I dreaded the most. Yes. It's done. Bye. <laughs> I just get this done. Bye. So we're going to go eat Mexican food now and have That's right. alcohol. That's right. Thank you all for listening. We appreciate each and every one of you. Just stand by and we will communicate out with you as soon as we have new episodes to release. But again, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all of that you uh, all that you do spreading this word, listening to us, giving us feedback. We appreciate each and every one of you. Until we speak again, everyone be safe. Have great days, each and every one of them. Bye. I love you, everybody. Come in.